transported to the heavenly temple in the second heaven. When I was with the Lord in the first heaven, he said he wanted to take me to the second heaven but he said my level was low. I was surprised because I have been born again for twenty years already yet I was encouraged to seek God. Later I started three days prayer series. It was during that three days prayer that the Lord transported me in the second heaven. We are gonna talk about what I saw over there. Today it happened when I was at home with Evangelist Joseph who was a witness to all this. He is a member of the Council of Ministers leading our ministry. We were in three days of prayer but on the fourth day of I felt the power that I always feel when God wants to visit me. I was transported to heaven. Again I found myself in the outer court like the last time again I was washed and dressed in a white garment. They changed my physical aspect and they removed the Adamic nature again. I went through the double door and the Lord Jesus Christ was there waiting for me. He said, Welcome son of man you are favored and found worthy. He said, Come because you made yourself ready. Before I can proceed, have you subscribed to this channel? How will you catch with the next testimonies if you don't? The Lord Jesus explained to me that when I worship, prayed and read the word my spirit travel here in the holy place and what happened is that my understanding gets enlightened and illuminated. Jesus said this happen every time you do these sacred practices in the first heaven. There was a long road in diamond. We walked on that long road with the Lord up to the end of that road. When we reached the end of the road I realized that the road was changing position it was no longer flat. The road was like rising upward. Later I noticed that we were no longer walking. It was like we were on an elevator, and while we were rising I saw a corridor that was in the clouds. We followed the road that went through the corridor. It's like when you were in the airport corridor to a plane. We were in that tunnel of clouds then we emerged in the second heaven. Then I saw a very long road made in gold and diamond. The Lord Jesus and I started to walk on that road. At the end of that road, I saw a massive temple a huge temple here in the second heaven. Then Jesus said, What you see is the heavenly temple. It's here that all your prayers are stored. When you pray you fast and do good deeds there are stored and recorded here in this temple. Let's go and see what you are and what you represent here in heaven and your investment. And over there I saw colors that I cannot describe in human language. First, the horizon was white I mean shining white luminous white, it was so beautiful that if you arrive there you will be disgusted to go back to earth. Jesus said, when you go back to earth tell the church whoever don't pray should understand that there is nothing stored in his account here and he should not expect anything. The temple was huge, there was the main entrance to a huge gate. When we entered the gate it was amazing. I was stunned and marveled when we enter the temple. I noticed it had many windows inside. Then I saw houses, apartments, buildings. I saw streets, roads. In fact, inside this temple, a massive and metropolitan city is built. I was amazed by this city built inside on the temple. Then the Lord said to me you also have an apartment in the city in your name. You built it through your good deeds. On earth, there are deeds that Christians do on earth. The more they do, these goods their houses are built here. The Lord Jesus knew the address of my house and he said, let's go visit your house. Then we started to walk on the roads. We were changing streets when finally we reached an apartment. On the lintel of the gate of the compound, a name was written. Jesus asked me, what do you see? I saw it was written in Hebrew, Moshe. The Lord asked, does this tell you something? This is your name and this is your house. Beloved I was stunned to discover that my name was here in heaven. I was surprised to learn that despite the fact that I live on earth I had an apartment, a dwelling place in heaven. Jesus said, This is a consequence of your good deeds and service. Then Jesus said, Let's get inside and see what you have, your possession your investment and what in your account. Quote. Jesus asked, Have you ever heard about the heavenly bank account? I said no. He said, Come you will see your heavenly bank account in your house where you invested your money. I want to specify that the dwelling place is not what was promised by the Lord that's another matter. We entered my apartment with the Lord. There were four angels inside the house each one had a specific task to do. Then I saw a container. It was very long and there was a hole on top. I had to use a stair to check what was inside. When I climbed I saw inside the container there was green oil. The Lord said that the level of the anointing you have is available here. 
The container was managed by an angel dealing with the level and degree of anointing. Then I saw a huge treasure box the size of a car. It was full of luxurious, expensive garment inside. The Lord said, These are your investments of whatever you sow on earth. There was an angel dealing with all these clothes. Then we got in the kitchen the style of this kitchen looked like an American type of kitchen. Inside there were utensils of all kinds and all kinds of food. I say all kinds of food. There was also an angel managing all things. Then Jesus said, You will never lack food again. Then we moved to the angel who was dealings with my money. He was managing all kinds of bank notes. Then the Lord Jesus started to explain. He said, Every time you gave someone the money on earth whether it is alms, gift, charity, donations, that money was multiplied here a hundredfold and the angel that you see with money is actually dealing and managing your bank account. Remember the Bible talk about a hundredfold. If you give one on earth it is multiplied a hundredfold here. Concerning the container with oil, Jesus said, This is olive oil. The Lord said, When you lay your hand on the sick, when you deliver people, when you pray for people, when you serve, the oil in the container increases. The more oil you have in this container the more anointing you have on earth and the more you serve God on earth the more your anointing increases. Then the Lord then gave an example. He said, When you are attacked by a witch, a demon or the devil and his kingdom, it is the anointing here in the second heaven that intervenes in your stead as the Bible said it is the anointing that breaks the yoke. The Lord said, when war or attack is perpetrated against you it's this anointing or the oil in the second heaven that deploys itself against the attacker without your knowledge and intervention and your enemy is defeated without your knowledge. When this happens the level of oil in the container decreases. To refill the container again you will have to serve more. Jesus said, some people feel the drain of battle because they do not have the anointing. The less you serve the less anointing you have. The Lord said, if you walk one kilometer on earth for evangelism your territorial authority and anointing is multiplied 100 fold. Your border and limit are enlarged your anointing will cover a bigger geographical perimeter because you are walking for the Lord. Isaiah 6, 8, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me, Isaiah volunteered to go forth preaching God's word. If you walk 10 meters on earth for the gospel you will be given a territory of 1,000 meters to exercise your authority. Therefore your anointing is enlarged and your angel will cover that area. Your angel will be empowered to deal with a large geographic area. Suppose you are in America you pray or preach on phone or TV to Africa your angel will cover that geographic area and this gives you national and intercontinental authority and dominion. It means that evangelism has enlarged your anointing and territorial rule and dominion. It breaks your border and limit and this empowers your angel to operate on the expanded territory. Jesus said Christians that do not evangelize their territorial influence and authority are very limited. It is written that those who teach justice will shine like stars. It is about evangelism. Jesus said when you worship, pray and read the word your spirit comes here to the temple in the second heaven. In the outer court, you are washed and purified from Adamic predisposition. In the holy place, your understanding is enlightened. In the second heaven, your spirit travels to acquire your possession, your investment because every time you do goods deeds on earth it is multiplied a hundredfold as the Bible said in Malachi 3.10 Bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to the test. In this verse, God is referring to the windows of the heavenly temple in the second heaven where our prayers and good deeds and our possessions and investments are stored. So when you worship, pray, hear the word your spirit comes here and acquires what belongs to you depending on your investment, your belonging in the second heaven. Your spirit comes to claim and possess freely what is yours in the second heaven. Whatever you sow on earth is multiplied a hundredfold here in the second heaven whether it's money, clothes or food. Transported to the